Hi, baby. <laughs> like an actual camera where you guys can see what we're doing. Here. Zoom now the scooch. Oh, you guys can actually see it. The oven is preheating. First off, we're going to try and go ahead and get the case in because those are going to need a long time to cool. Okay, we need a cup of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs for each box. We're going to make two boxes because we got two sheets back there. This from scratch stuff, baby. We just don't have the time or the funds or the energy, so you're gonna have to be okay with box. I gotta tell you, I feel confident knowing that this is gonna turn out, hoping and feeling, I guess, this is gonna turn out better than the curvy one. Not that that one wasn't truly a sight to behold. So, two cups. Oh my god, I should have gone with the bigger bowl. Then it'll be a full cup of vegetable oil because we're making two boxes and then we'll add six eggs. Diego, we just started. We just started. We're making our batter now. We want to get the cake in first so that way it has plenty of time to cool because that's going to be the longest process. How are you doing though? Thank you for popping in. We're just doing our best here. Jackie is the cook of the two of us. We're going to use our little hand mixer and be real fancy this time. Studying on your own terms, you'll be starting soon. Oh, that's super exciting, though. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, first peppers. All right. And now we've got two cake pans. We're going to make two um, 9 by 13s. I think that's what they are. Yeah, 9 by 13s. So that way we have two sheets that we can work with. Big ass bowl. What kind of cake are we making? We're making a super moist French vanilla cake. We just got two boxes of these and we're going to be decorating it to, to be like a beach. So it's going to be a beach themed cake. And what I want to do is I want to get both of these sheets and then I have these little ones over here, these little pans here, that I would like to use to make like towels. So just fill them up part way and then make cook them really quickly and then they can be like little beach towels laying on the sand. I think that'd be kind of fun. And so these will cook 
much faster than the others because there's just going to be a little bit of batter in them. So we have to make sure we take them out of the stove way beforehand. So I just fill those up like that much, like not even halfway, just a little baby amount. And I went ahead and got caught up on all the dishes earlier today, so hopefully I'll be able to finish all of this up. Oh my god, the, the jump scares actually come through. Loki was not sure they would. Without the rest, we paid for the whole box, we're going to use the whole box. So these guys are going to go in for about 30 minutes, and then these guys are going to go in. We'll start with five. We'll just do five minutes and see how they go. So I've set two timers. Those are their thing. What we're going to do next is... is start trying to prep some decorations. So we've got all these schmelty chocolates. I do not know how this is gonna go. We're gonna try our best here. All right, so we've got just an absolute insane amount of schmelties. So we're just gonna try and figure it out. I like the orange, the pink, and the yellows and the white yellows. But we've got all these little molds. Piper, so good to see you. Hi, baby. Okay, they're little shells. They're like little beach things. Like we got flip flops. We got our little beach house. We've got some more shells and some more bikini and swimmy stuff. Happy Pride Month! I hope you get to celebrate and go to some parades and whatnot. It's gonna be a blast. Got a little lifeguard chair. We got a big shell one. And then we just got some more miscellaneous beach stuff. So let's start with um let's start with this bad boy, the house here. So we need to melt some chocolate. So what color do we want the house to be? That would be kind of fun. Let's just do 30 seconds. We're just going to do it in 30 seconds. We'll see if I can figure it out. Definitely want the little beach house. Those should be our little cakes. Let's check out how they're doing. Gussie, has anyone told you um, that you have lovely hands because you do. They're very really pretty. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been told I have old lady hands because I have, there are lots of lines on them. It's kind of hard to tell, but they have lots of lines on them. Got old lady hands. My nails are always crooked. Okay. I think we can make this work. This may not be enough for the beach house, so we're gonna start with something else then first. Maybe we could start with Big Chungo Shell. So I'm gonna try, this is my first time making these, so I'm just gonna try and press it in and then scrape off and around and then try and press more in. So we've got all that in there. Yeah, but in a good way. Thank you, I appreciate that. And then we'll put that in the freezer. See how that goes. 
So we'll have to get us a couple of bowls, I think, in order to do this. I still have some pink left in here, so we could do a couple more things if we wanted. Maybe we make the beach house the yellow. That could be nice. There is! We got a couple of them. We got some little ones here on this one. Here. Let's see if we'll focus. Right there. And then we got one right there. Oh, thank you for the water. So we're going to go ahead and make us some yellow inner tube. Spread it around. And remember, this isn't going to turn out perfect, but we're going to have some fun making it, I think. signature of summer. I think you're right. We'll do a half blue, half red then. Because she's just so sweet and cute. She really wants to partake in the cake baking festivities, but she's not sure how she can contribute on account of her having pauses and not being allowed around the ingredients. You just got out of the Spider-Man movie? What'd you think of it, sister? I heard it was loud. The blue 
Hollywood was really not about melting. It was not on board with the melting plan. creations. Right? Didn't that turn out so good? I'm pleasantly surprised. Guys, this is not about to be another Kirby cake fiasco. On God, this is about to be some good shit. So we're going to go ahead and make our little, our little um, beach house. in Christ, I just ate, and you're making me hungry? Is it because I'm so incredibly talented with my cake baking and stuff? Oh my gosh. Ooh, nope. Went too far. Went too much against the grain. Maybe I leave this one a little bit thick and that's okay, you know? Shave just a little off the top. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Excited to see how our inner tubes turned out now. These cakes are gonna need to cool before we ice anything. What's everyone's thoughts on cheesecake? Cheesecake is the bomb. Cheese, first of all, cheesecake is amazing. Um, cheesecake is, whoa, cheesecake is my reason for living. Um, let me make some yellow shells. I like a fruity cheesecake. You're not a huge fan of cheesecake. That's interesting. Piper, what is your dessert of choice? You might be streaming a game tomorrow. Heck yeah, you're a big fan of strawberry shortcake. Okay, and ch cheesecake is like heaven on earth to you, or strawberry shortcake. Uh, you love angel's food cake as well. Yeah, cheesecake is some good shit though. I like the fruitier one, one with a little tart to it. Like the Cheesecake Factory has this lemon raspberry one that is my, that's my shit right there. I've never tried strawberry shortcake mainly because I don't like strawberries. That one's good. Nice. Let's move this one actually. It's got some bigger ones. decorate them with icing or do we coat them in chocolate to make like little designs on them you know what I'm saying I've got a couple red things I kind of want to make another big chungo shell because he turned out so cool we'll make this guy in the I think. We got our first little inner tube. I'm going to trim him off over the sink. Break off some of the extra pieces just fine. Looky! It ain't super pretty on the back, but it's going to sit like this anyway. You won't even be able to tell if you're sitting like this in the water. Make some blue shells. Yes, Chairman. Yeah. 
Anything else, my boy? Pardon my freezer as he squeaks and struggles. So I've just been going like that, and then because of the center part, I've just been breaking it. some of the excess off. Good. Nice little inner tube. A little dicey on the back, but it's sitting like that. Nobody will ever be able to tell. Trim it off a little bit. And then our last little inner tube. <gasps> Bliss, I love you so much. Welcome. We're making our little um, beach cake. So right now we're making some chocolate molds to put on the cake. So like we've got some shells we're making. We've got little inner tubes. We just finished cooking the cakes. We've got itty bitty cakes like this that we're gonna make the beach towels that are on the ocean. And then we've got the bigger cakes that are there right now. We've got so many bowls of smelted chocolate. Let me check on our beach house. Here we go. They look satisfying. Oh my god. They're like Play-Doh. Stop it, Uni. It's so fucking fun. Okay, let's see how this goes. <gasps> I'm in love. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that turned out so good. Okay, let's try and trim some of this excess off. I figure I'll just have this guy sitting upright in the cake. If we can make it work, we'll just jam him in the icing or something. Oh my goodness. I'm literally, I'm so excited with how well these are turning out so far. I was nervous about the molds. I was like, how, what if it's gonna take them forever to like re-harden and then I ruin everything? But nope, they're doing just fine. But dump out some of this excess to make sure we don't make it. And so what I'm thinking is we're going to use graham crackers to make sand on the part of the cake, you know? Bliss, also, if you're still here, I saw you sub to the YouTube channel. Thank you so freaking much. I appreciate that. sand. I dare say that looks like sand. It's got some like crumbliness to it, but I don't mind that one a bit. We'll start with that and then we've got another sleeve of graham crackers. We got two types of frosting. We got a whipped cream cheese frosting and then we just got a rich and creamy vanilla frosting. I think we'll do this one for the ocean because it's just going to be, I think it'll be easier to get the wave effect with it being whipped, you know? I think I'm okay just putting blue just in this entire thing, honestly. I think we just put blue in the entire thing because this is all going to go to the ocean. And then in this one, I might put some green and just like scoop some out and put some green in it and we can do that for like algae detail or something if we want to. That might be kind of nifty. Let's see how these turned out. Oh my gosh, they crackle so nicely. Ooh, may have broke the top of that one off. Just a scooch. Ooh. Look at that. A little bitty shell. Yes, Chairman, a little bitty shell. I 
a nice little starfish. A little chocolate candy umbrella. Yeah, the tops of the buckets, like the little sand pails, are really hard to get to stay. But looky, they're still so cute. I ain't even mad. I'm just gonna put some blue all over this one, I think. This got, this has all those designs. I'm gonna put some blue all over it and just kind of see what we like when it's done, you know? some like fins for snorkeling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the chocolate actually and I'm going to actually drape it around and try and make like a pattern of some sorts, you know, like do like lines or like strips, stripes, and there you go, stripes. Why didn't I just do this in the pan? You know what? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. But you get the point. It's like a beach towel now. We got four more of these puppies. The main cakes are, he are healing. Oh, are cooling nicely. So I think we'll be able to do died. The webcam died. Arnar. I was worried about that. We got to do this the scuffed way. The scuffed way or the highway. Let me give you a little tour of what we've done so far. This is what separates the boys from the men. 
Here we go. Oh. Oh. chunks of him but that's all right so we're gonna need to scoop some of this out or it might be easier yeah it might be easier to scoop it out because we're gonna need to put blue dye in this because this is gonna be the water some blue dye, mixing it up. See what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down. And then for the sand portion, we've got our crushed up graham crackers that are gonna be the sand. So let's just go ahead and bloop. Cause I've been drinking with you, babe. Okay, well that was cute. That was cute. I had the frosting lid still attached to my spatula. Doesn't need to be super precise because this is meant to be a little choppy. Like the ocean, you get it. But I do need to make sure that the edges are covered. This would be a little harder to spread, but that's okay because it's going to be getting covered. And this cake is Matthew's favorite flavor, so you get to enjoy him some good cake later. I think what we do is we go ahead and secure, oh, first and foremost though, Right now we are coating this portion with graham crackers. That's going to be our sand. And then I realized that kind of makes no sense now because now this isn't even sticking to it. Boom. Boom. There we go. Now he's sticking a little bit. Doesn't need to be perfect. Oof, especially because I should have trimmed the top off. That's fine though, it's fine, it's fine guys. Crush ups and some more crushed up Grammys. Some more crushed up Grammys. Dust it around. Out of some chocolate, we made these little rafties. And I think we'll put these like little circle rafties out here. We made a couple of little beach houses. Let's see if I can get this to stand. I think I may just stab him into the cake. I didn't quite plan out how he would 
become part of the cake, but he's, that, we're, 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 you know what, we're, we're, we're making it up as we go, okay? It's fine. I made these guys, but they're a little chunky in hindsight. They were supposed to be like little rafts, so we can just put like one of them on the bottom. There we go. Like a big old raft there. So everything on this cake is edible. Everything is edible, my guys. Got us another little beach house. I think we stab him in the cake. Is that what we did last time? I think so. Wait, so are you baking this after? No, no, it's already been baked. All of it's been baked. The cake's been baked. We made the cake on stream. Uh, we made the molds on stream. We did all of this on stream, man. I think, uh, I think she's about done, my guys. Let me see here. We got a couple of other decorations we can do. Got like a little sun here. Okay, hold up now. Let me see if I can get if that battery has enough juice that I can put it back in the camera and show you guys on that one. There it is. Looky. Isn't it beautiful? I think it turned out quite cool, I dare say. I think it turned out rather nifty. Got a little sand right there. All the little details of the shells. And then you come down here and you've got some inner tubes and a giant raft to do. Christ, that's a huge raft. The cake flavor is vanilla. We just used vanilla frosting with some food coloring. The sand is graham cracker and all the little decorations are chocolate. So I think we're done. Should we do a reveal to Matthew? I don't even know if he's... Do I have anything left in the freezer? We still got shit left in the freezer, guys. Oh, God. Dun, da, da, da. That's a good beach. It is a beach, Ducky. Really Thank you. Everything's edible. You should cut me a slice. This is graham cracker. These are all chocolate. What happened here? I didn't need the whole part. <laughs> I didn't need all of it. I just needed half of it for like the slope. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You're just gonna eat that. We have this beautifully decorated cake, and he's like, give me the reject parts, actually. That'll do. All right, guys, that's going to be it. I'm tired, and I got to clean up. Thank you so much for hanging out. We will be back next Wednesday. I'm not sure what we're going to do. I haven't quite decided. I'll think on that tomorrow and during the week and let you guys know about the schedule. I know you put all this effort into this cake, but these leftovers are delicious. Literally him. Literally him. He's like, that's beautiful, but also I'm going to just eat this bare naked portion of cake and say that'll do. So it's like, honestly, just slap me in the face next time, you know? And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Take care of yourselves, spend time with your families, and get lots of rest, okay? Take such good care.